Stranraer FC on YouTube, sponsored by GT Mortgages. Good afternoon and welcome to Durgeon Park for the Scottish Cup Brora Rangers versus Stranraer. You're watching Stranraer FC live and we're bringing you the teams here ahead of the game on a beautiful sunny afternoon. Mike McLean with the home team. Absolutely glorious. One change from the Brora side that beat Hearts. Uh, the end goal is Joe Mallon, who's the captain. Number three, Ali McDonald. Number four, Colin Williamson. Number five, Mark Nicholson. Number six, Dale Gillespie. Seven is Gregor Morrison. He's a change from the first uh, game against Hearts. He replaces Miller Gamble. Eight, Martin McLean. Nine, Jordan McRae. Ten, Andrew McRae. Twelve, Tom Kelly. And fourteen, Bjorn Wagner. Subs are Miller Gamble. John Pickles, number two. Twenty, Gregor MacDonald. Paul Brindle, who was also a substitute in 2017 when uh, Brora beat us at Stair Park. Stair Park. And twenty-one is the substitute goalkeeper, Jamie Stephen. And Stevie Farrell steps back in time to Stranraer's previous encounter in the Scottish Cup this season when we beat Kelty Hearts 3-2. It's the team that lined up that night. So in goals Greg Fleming. In front of him, Scott Robertson, Adam Cummins, Ayrton Sonka, Grant Gallagher, Conor McManus, Andy Sterling, Kieran Miller, Rory Payton, Daryl Duffy and Tam Orr. The bench isn't exactly the same though. We do have Jamie Walker, Sean Burns, James Hilton, Joe Victoria, Cammy Elliott, Tom Devitt, Matty Yates, Jamie Hamill and Ali Taylor. The ref for this afternoon's match is Scott Lambie. And Mike, it's a beautiful afternoon we're set for here for what is Stranraer's 200th match in the wow, Scottish Cup. Absolutely brilliant. So let's hope it's something we can celebrate at the end of the day. Look forward to that. So I don't know if you can hear the, the wind in our microphones, um, Mike McLean. It's, uh, it's an absolutely beautiful day here. We've got a view of the, the hills behind the, the wee main stand at Dudgeon Park, but it is blowing a hooli. It's a bit breezy as the Stranraer team takes to the pitch here at Dudgeon Park I was led out by Grant Gallagher and uh, just and but then the traditional blue strip which is good to see and the referee has brought it back I think is it for a free kick for Stranraer it looks like it the home club who have been very hospitable I have to say so here's Andy Stirling with the free kick Stranraer players lining up on the edge of the box in it swings I think Peyton knocked it oh! on and Daryl Duffy scoops it over the crossbar. That was what a chance a, in the what first minute, Absolutely. Mike. The broader defence was all over the place and Daryl was what, three yards out and managed to put it over. Yep. Still in possession. Back to Gillespie. Out in front of goal. He's going to have a shot. It's a bit of a daisy cutter and Greg Flip kicks it clear. Kieran Miller heads it back forward. Here's McLean. And Martin McLean back in the ball. Now, danger here. And this could be a great start for Brora, but uh, number oh. 10, Andy McCree took it way too wide. That was actually, he was four. This is Peyton Kelly, headles it on now. Peyton does have possession now. But Manus lifts it That's clear. That That's ball. And that was never offside. Oh, it's another. The flag was, and rather here is Andy Sterling now. Clearly wasn't him. Here's Grant Gallagher. Up the great wing ball. to Duffy. Well gathered by Duffy. Back to Sterling. Pokes it forward for Orr. And That'll be a corner. A corner. Around the side of the park, I can see. Andy Sterling. Uh, and it's nodded forward. But comes. Uh, here's Gillespie, but he's robbed. Here's Tam Orr. Uh, pokes it forward. Andy Sterling. Good knock down by the... Almost 17 is, minutes on the clock, Mike. The wind is blowing into, into Andy. That's a good ball, good delivery. And a knock of play. Flag up. Not sure what the flag is up for. He's given offside and there was absolutely nobody offside. All is over him like a rash. Morrison picks up inside his own half across the halfway line. Driving it to another defence, slipping it inside. That's a great ball. This is trouble. And that's a penalty. He's awarded the penalty. Yeah, Scott that, Robertson on no, um, Andy McRae. That didn't look like a penalty from here. He's, he's Gillespie against Fleming. 26th minute. Ref, waiting for the referee. Ah, steps up. Greg's so close to that. Slots in, guess right, but he into the box. Only didn't. He just didn't lift it enough, did he? Try again. That's better. That's better in terms of height. And that'll fall for Duffy. Oh, and that was a sizzler. That really was. If that had been six inches lower, Mike, that well, was creeping under the crossbar. Here's Peyton. Gal Gallagher up the wing, aimed at Orr. It comes back off Orr. Duffy to Orr. Orr into the middle, and he was aiming at Andy Sterling. It didn't have the legs to reach him, but the ball is back with Stranraer. Out wide, here's Andy Sterling. Back to Gallagher. Back to Sterling. Up the right to Tam Orr. 
And he's got this ball in the centre. Gallagher into the middle. Kelly with his arms all over Peyton there, but uh, that saws an injury time at the end of the first half. And referee no Scott Lambie time. has noticed that. And it is half time at Dudgeon Park. Brewer Angels won Stranraer nil. Um, Mike, what does Stranraer have to do differently in the second half, I guess, is the question. Score. Yep. Well, that's it. Welcome back to the second half here at Dudgeon Park. Still afraid to say the score is um, Brewer Angels won. First half penalty by Dale Gillespie after 26 minutes. Uh, Stranraer nil. But uh, just waiting for that. Uh, you need to be careful for, here. For McCray to chase. Oh no, it's, it's Wagoner. Wagoner getting a shot in. It was deflected off McManus. Cut ah. back and taken away from the result in the end of these. That's a better ball. It's a good but ball again, in, but well again, well defended. Yeah. Rory turns it back in. Well, chance. Is that's in. in. That must be the equaliser. And it's offside again. Oh, not again. That's a, the second time we've had the ball in the net. It's so 61 minutes on the clock. Matty Yates is the first to come on. Jinky is coming on at the same time. Who's gone off? Duffy is Duffy's off. Gone off. I thought that, that would be Yates for Duffy. And Scouse is going off. No, it's not Scouse. Connor. So it's the same substitution, Mike, that uh, Faz made late on at Kelty. Hilton for McManus. Interesting. Yes. Well, it worked then. Let's hope it works again here. Off, he's running off. So. Yeah, Victoria for Peyton. 67 minutes of Stranraer complete their substitutions, as I say, unless this tie goes to extra time. So is it going to be a short kick to Gillespie or is it the other player who's taken it? I can't see who that is because he's... Yeah, it's definitely Dale Gillespie. And Good Greg save. Fleming Great gets save. down to turn that round the post. Good save by Greg Fleming. Excellent save by Greg Fleming. Because oh, that was well, well cut out by Hilty. Hilton. He's looking for them. He's looking for Chow. There's Chow can. Uh, yes, he's got he's it. Got it. He kept it in play. He still has it under control. Slips it inside to Matty Yates. Matty Yates forward to Tamor. Tamor gets corner. the corner. Only still our second corner of the match. Yeah, nobody available. Into the box it goes. Oh, oh. yes, well, the right idea. Lovely idea, and I suppose Jake from here we didn't know how. Again, we're, uh, nice. we're waiting. That's a throw in for us, and the first two touches off the throw in are Brora players. Oh, yes! yes! And it's offside, would you? Well, you know, as you say, three times in the net, three times offside. You know, even if they're correct decisions, it's so frustrating for the Stranraer manager, and he's continuing to. Long throw in for trying to find Matty Yates there, but failing to do it. We're getting pressure on now. I think we're getting annoyed, is which is good to see. <coughs> oh, and that was that's a, that's corner, a, corner. a good save. Something about it. Yeah, that's too late. That's that's my point, I guess. Right. <sighs> good ball out. under the bar. And it's in this time, yes. And this time it's a it's goal. Offside. Can't possibly be offside. And who headed at home? Can we see? <laughs> <laughs> Jinky's ball in. Who's getting the congratulations? Tam Orr. 88 minutes. Extra time, here we come. Well, it's long overdue. The sheer number of times we've had the ball in the net, Mike, I'll is long you, overdue. I'll tell you one thing. There's a few journalists to, to our right there who are rewriting their scripts. Yeah. Uh, plus whatever he adds on, so we've got to keep at this. Oh, and Greg Fleming lost that, I think, in the... Well, it's, it's again, it's swelling the in the wind. It's and Joe's going to be... No, no he did swelling. it again. <laughs> he keeps... And he's still going. Defender thought he had it. Well done, Joe. Tom needs help. All the way out to Stirling. Stirling. Cut in and hit it, Andy. And good now, save. Good save by Marlon. Yeah, corner strong right. And four of them have come in the last 10, 15 minutes. A minute and a half played in injury time. Into the box, cross the goal! Oh, it's there for the Back taking. In. Oh! And the flag stayed down. <laughs> yeah, we don't want extra time, and we will take it if we have to, but we don't really want it. Ball drifting into the box. Ooh. Oh, chance! Damn it! Yeah. And that, that is going to happen increasingly because as the, game, yeah. the longer the game goes on, the more their match will stretch. Full time, this minutes. one goes to extra time. Yeah, yeah but we we've got to keep it going, Mike. Yeah, and, 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 and the sign's good here. Good running by Jinky. 
finds Andy Stirling. And he cuts inside his man at the box. Low ball in the box, and corner. it's clear for a corner. Kick. Yep. Here it comes, in swing up. And, and that's going in. Oh, oh almost went straight in. Michael Gillespie with the corner. Again, there's dangerous balls. Ooh. Oh, right across there. 20, if it's 20, it's Gregor McDonald. <coughs> and meanwhile, here we come again. That's a good ball for Andy to run on to the wide on the. Taking his man to the byline, getting the ball across the face of the goal. Can he? They've just managed to stop it going for a corner, but Scouse is there. He looks at the far post. Oh, a keeper great does save. A great, make them count. It's a good ball out, but well read. That was fantastic Ready. reading of the ball by uh, Gal. Gal forward to Tamor. Taking it for a walk down the touchline. Cuts it back. Gal again at the box. Matty Yates, Matty Yates, Yates has scored. scored. Brilliant stuff for oh, the youngster. Superb. Absolutely fantastic. Well done, Great you, Matty. Skip home. 100 minutes played. Matty Yates puts Tranrar ahead. Good build up down the right wing. It's fantastic. And uh, a lovely great ball in from Gal. And again, as we said before, the broader defence under. When we put balls into the box, the broader defences look shaky. And. Uh, <laughs> And uh, Joe, Joe Marlon, by the way, got a hand to that, Mike, but he, he couldn't keep, he it couldn't keep it out. Underneath that and get it cleared. Half time. And it's half time as Joe, Joe picks the ball up and comes away with it. Here's Gillespie, and that's intercepted by Stranra. Well, Victoria and Gallagher got a touch now. It's played in to Orr. And that's oh, a goal! What a goal! Absolute cracker of a goal. Home and brilliant, host, no, uh, brilliant hit on the turn by Tam Orr. Um, and that is 117 minutes on the clock. Tam Moore gets his second of the tie and puts Tranraar 3-1 up against the Highland League champions. Um, what a special goal. <laughs> that's, a, that's a typical Tam Moore goal. I mean, yeah. uh, he gets the ball with his back to goal and turns and before the defender can do anything about it, he smacked it past Mallon and into the back of the net. The important thing was to get the equaliser. From that moment on, we, yeah. we've, really, we've really dictated again. The impetus changed totally, didn't and it? And more. Look at this. Oh, Hilton. Through to Victoria. That's it, yeah. Oh, and he did 10 minutes left of extra time. Scott Robertson departs, and extra time means that uh, Fass can make a fourth substitution. And Tam Devitt is going to get uh, the final 10 minutes. And she's it. Now, Jimmy, James Hilton out left. Andy Sterling back to Hilton. Hilton turns. He'll play it across. It took a deflection. It will reach Grant Gallagher. He heads it. Ayrton Sonka will get onto the ball. Back to Gallagher. Out to Victoria on the right, keeps it in. runs up the right, keeps it in, beats number four, Williamson, and then Gallagher lifts it, goes, and Matty Yates scores! 4 1 Stranra! It's offside, it's offside. And Sonker heads clear, only as far as number eight, Martin McLean. Here comes McLean. And tame finish. It was a tame finish, and McLean shouting that. Uh, Grant Gallagher sends it <coughs> down the park. Tamor chasing all the way. He's got, he's got to first, and Andy Stirling is there to help if he needs him. And he needs uh, him, and he does. Yeah. Oh, you are annoyed, Andy. Now, Joe Victoria in the middle. If somebody can run in and if the keeper blocks it. Or Andy Stirling. And the keeper does well to save it. Mallon gets down behind it, to it be fair to him. It wasn't the best of free kicks, but it was on top. Donald, come on in extra time. He's taking the Brewer corner with a minute left. And Greg oh, Fleming great comes out Greg. brilliantly to take that from midair. <laughs> Into the final minute of extra time. <laughs> He's not going to rush to get to his feet. A little, a little pat in the head from Jinky. Yeah. He's standing far away. And that is time. Unless he adds, and now. that is full time, full time, a fantastic cup victory for Stranraer. But Pro Rangers Highland League champions won Stranraer 3. That's not the full story. The full story is, of course, that Stranraer were 1-0 down until the 88th minute, Mike. Yes, absolutely. And as I said a couple of times, uh, we've done what Hearts couldn't do and uh, thoroughly deserve to do it. I mean, four, four goals chopped off in the course of the game. Uh, it's quite incredible. Uh, we still managed to score three legitimate goals, so... 
I think it's fair to say we deserve to win it. No, absolutely. What a comeback. You know, we were frustrated. Five minutes to go, ten minutes to go. Tamor pounced with two minutes left. Not a crowd to be seen. No, they've all gone home. The upshot is it's Trenraer who are in the draw for the last 16 of the Scottish Cup. And we look forward to that with some excitement. Full time at Dudgeon Park. Brora Rangers 1, Stranraer 3. Thanks for joining us. Next up for Stranraer, it's a trip to face Elgin City on Tuesday night.